Hello everyone, my name is Fatima Morris and I am a 17 year old in Nexus who is studying the IB. So I would first of all like to thank Mr. David for inviting me to speak today and thank you for watching this video. I will be discussing youth leadership and how to involve technology when leading and my experiences and what I've learned basically in the last couple of years. So currently I am the president of Nexus and the secretary general of Nexus's annual MUN in this 2022 as well as the editor-in-chief of the Senior Magazine, which was formerly known as the Yearbook. There's a story behind that and I'll be happy to explain it to you later on. So one of the key parts of being a leader is ensuring there's communication about your team and overseeing that everyone's voice is heard and that everyone is comfortable and safe to communicate their own ideas. And a well-functioning team actually helps you to lead better and a well-informed team helps you to lead better. So it's very important to have actually safe space to communicate with each other about those off-topic things that may not be seen on the surface. Just checking up on your team. Is this too much work for you? Are you okay? How is your team handling this? Is anyone having any issues? That simple thing will set you apart from others. It'll ensure that you're the leader who cares. And don't just do it superficially. Having a genuine care and having genuine feelings and emotions for your team is really important. And rewarding your team and telling them, you guys did an amazing job. You know, you guys pulled through in this meeting. These ideas are amazing. Reminding your team how good they are and how worthy they are is really important to keep morale up, especially in hard times. If there's one thing I've learned amidst COVID and all that it is to plan, plan, plan. Having a plan for yearbook, having a timeline for what we need to do, what we need to achieve. When you're a leader, make sure you stay organized. Utilize as much tech as you can. Have organizing systems. Have safe places to communicate with your team. Put yourself out there. You're never going to know if you never even try. Get experience. If you don't have any, get some. Start from the bottom and get to the top. It'll build up and that'll set you apart. Be involved. Don't just stand there and be the face of an organization. Check in on your team. Show empathy. Show them that you care about their emotions. Show them that you're a leader for a reason. You're there to support them. You're there to be there for them emotionally, mentally, work-wise. Show them that you're a presence. And lastly as well, to hold your ground. Show whoever it is, whoever's tearing you down, don't let them tear you down. You're a leader for a reason. So prove anyone who has anything to say about you wrong. You're too young for this, you're too feminine, you're too masculine, prove them wrong. That's what being a leader is, paving the way for others to follow you in. Just to conclude, thank you so much for watching this video and please, if you have any questions or if you'd like to talk with me or ask me anything or ask for any resources, please just let me know and I'm happy to share anything with you. And again, a huge congratulations to Mr. David for putting this together. Thank you.